Hi, I'm Satya. Uh, I'm sorry for the late. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Perfect. I'm sorry that I'm doing this in English. My German is pretty bad. And I did try to, so I'm doing this in English. And welcome to the presentation. Uh, I'm going to give you a lightning talk, something like an overview about what Yocto project is about. Uh, as it says, it's, uh, it is an embedded, it builds an embedded Linux for you. The slogan for Yocto project is like, it's not an embedded distribution, but it builds a customized one for you. It's specific, machine, machine specific. Sometimes you need fat distributions, sometimes you need thin distributions. So depend, op, depending upon our need. So um, this gives you an opportunity to customize, uh, to create different distributions for different machines. The word Yocto itself is 10 power minus 24. Uh, technically it means. And the aim is to eventually, it, it, um, in this, um, the Yocto project, we use it to decrease the amount of distribution. If you download a Raspberry Pi, a Raspberry image from the internet, you get it for 680 MB. I don't really know for, we don't use all the libraries in it. We suppose if you want to develop products for specific to multimedia, you don't need other libraries. And even that gives you security loopholes. Suppose if there are security loopholes in the other libraries, then they can be, it can be used to um, misuse them. And therefore, the aim of this um, uh, Yocto project is actually to decrease the size of um, the distribution that you are uh, going to run on an embedded system. It's not just used to decrease, but suppose you are, suppose we are from different, suppose we are from different companies, and we want, we, we have our own software which we want to run our, on our embedded system. As far as I know, as a programmer, I know it's, it's really a bit of pain to get every time um, manually to implement our own software. How about doing that in the build itself, where we don't do anything, we just build it. We, so we, also, uh, we, have the, we, ha we can customize the build system so that we can include our own software. Let's go. The, base, uh, the Yocto project is basically developed over Python. And it, um, and it uses, uh, Pokey is the name given for the default distribution. You can further decrease the size, uh, you, you can further uh, if Pokey is the, if the, it's, it's in the medium, you can either make it thin or you can make it fat. It all depends on how we go for. And you know, uh, I think Big Big is, called, is the build tool. It's like make, but it is, uh, it's like uh, make. Uh, it's a funny word because uh, every, everything we do over it is called a recipe. Like you cook something. You take, uh, it's like, it's like a, so, Suppose if you want to have a specific customized kernel. So you create a recipe for a customized kernel such that your build system accepts it. And it, uh, the best part of it is it builds, it, uh, it is by default enabled with, uh, for multiple threading on, uh, so our multiple cores. So the, the amount of time taken to build is heavily decreased. And the best part of it is uh, it is supported by IBM itself. And uh, I think most of you guys must have known about Open Embedded. It's a group which, create, which basically supports the Angstrom distribution. OK, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, some default things for BeagleBoard are already provided. And this time I will try to concentrate if time permits for Raspberry Pi, but I don't, I'm not sure. Okay, here goes um, the best part of, this is one figure which explains the total how Yocto distribution works, so the Yocto project works. You can have your project, see there's an upstream project, suppose you have X server, that's an upstream project. You download it from, from the internet. You have some local projects which you, which uh, for company specific, that you have created for the embedded system. And then, 
every, every, if, you, if you observe, there is metadata. So you have different versions. It tells you which version to take because there are several versions that are available. And suppose to this version, if there is a patch available, then you go for that patch. And the machine, uh, I will concentrate, uh, in the next slides, I will tell you a bit about machine configuration. And the policy configuration is about the licenses. Not every license is free. And when not every license is free, how do you deal it? So even that is, so if you, if you observe the figure, you see how much one can customize. That is the beauty of it. I personally used it for my last internship, and I'm still using it for my Raspberry Pi. OK. And then after, it also, def it, it also gives you three possibilities. You can have your own package management. You have, uh, the default is always the RPM. And then you have Debian, and IPK is also a Debian-based package. So you, it gives you and three possibilities of your own package manager, package management, actually. And then, so you have different types of images. Suppose in some, some images, you may need X server. For something else, you don't need one. And so, so once again, it is, the beauty is you can customize. Uh, I just try to find a simple use case. Uh, suppose we have a company which develops several products. Uh, assume it's a company about uh, uh, a medical company, suppose. Maybe we can use the same um, machine, let us call a Raspberry Pi, for heart, for heart monitoring. And suppose we can use the same for something, for something else. So, So we can use the same machine, and we can use the same system, the same build system that is the, the Yocto. And so we use different distributions. Suppose one distribution, uh, it, it, can, it has libraries of those specific uh, software which we want it to have, and the other one has the other ones. So, it, so you make it as thin as possible. You make it as thin as possible. That is the total aim of the project itself. And moreover, since you, you have one build system and you have, um, one has one build system and we are, suppose we have one machine spe specific, then it's much more easy because the, uh, it decreases the development time. And moreover, suppose if you want to use, uh, suppose in our own company, if you want to give something else to, a th for a third party for, uh, for developing, Suppose some people want to use it, some SIP to be developed, and then we, we, it also provides you a possibility of creating your own specific tool chain. So, somehow, if you, if you understand, it is mostly following the philosophy of Arch Linux or Gentoo here, where it is machine specific. Uh, this is a, a small overview about how Yocto project is itself. Uh, because I don't have my terminal here and I cannot make it. I thought of showing you, but it's not possible. Suppose I have my own company. Suppose here I'm not, but I study in Ionium. So I decided, let me create a, a specific layer. Why do we need to create a specific layer is we download the build system, but we don't want to mess with it. So let's do what, the, what it's, it is always nice that we create a specific layer for our own company or for our own machine or for, so, so I create, maybe recipes for which are related to FIONIUM in general, and re recipes that are related to Raspberry Pi, what I want to run on. And there are several layers of configuration. You have this uh, layer.conf, which tells you what other layers should I use for the build. And then these are process specific. Suppose uh, Raspberry Pi uses ARM version 6, and uh, the, uh, the project itself has some default um, specific specifications already there. And then we can create, in the Raspberry Pi.conf, you, you say what kind of images you want, whether you want, a, you want to have an SD card image, or suppose, uh, in case of BeagleBot, maybe you want a NAND flash image. So there are specific things. And I call it a Kaffenberg.conf as my distribution because it's thin. I mean, graphs is bigger. So maybe if you want a fat, I will call it, uh, it's the aim. 
Okay, and it's not enough if you uh, just create a layer, we have to add that layer to the build system. And this is a small snippet, how you add a layer. I'm running out of time, yeah. And these are some machine specific things. In this case, um, it is Raspberry Pi specific. Uh, we are using ARM 1176 JZFS file system. And then we, suppose you want package management to be enabled. If you don't want it to enable, you can just remove it. And we are using Uboot. So suppose Uboot is the manager, is the boot manager you want to use it. So it's always customized. And you see some other machine specific, like if you want the USBs to be enabled or touch screen if you have. And if you also want kernel modules to be installed in the image, it's up to you. Perfect. And this is how a distribution uh, snippet looks like. Where I call this time here as a Kapfenberg. It's funny, but yeah. And here you use a virtual manager. Suppose if I, I have systemd or sys5 in it, uh, if I don't want sys5 in it, then I enable systemd. Okay, here are the references. Um, you can get them from here. Any questions? Okay, I assume it is successful. <laughs>